Hello everyone, and for this Figma quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create a hover interaction for a sub map navigation to expand and collapse. So I have here my expanded version, I'll duplicate it, simplify it, deleting all the labels, make it smaller. Now that I have my two states, I'll select them both, create component sets. Let me create a frame here for the prototype, add my component, and now let's add the interaction. Now I'll set the interaction, and if I try to go with wild hovering, let's see what happens. If I move just a bit, it will go back to the previous states, the collapse version. So when my mouse leaves the collapse version frame, it already sets the interaction to collapse the entire menu, which is very annoying as you can see here, and it doesn't work properly. And to fix that, what we have to do is to set this interaction here, instead of to while hovering, to mouse enter. And then we have to set this back to mouse leave. Let's put it to smart animate and gentle to make that soft transition. When I play my prototype, here was happen. As you can see, I can move my mouse freely above the expanded menu without it collapsing every time. And if I move outside this frame now, it gets collapsed as we want it to be. And last but not least, let's say I want to make this interaction to actually impact the content on my page. So I'll build real quickly, Shift A to build them in an out layout, enter to select all of them, put fill container, just build on a wireframe here for a layout, I'll set all of these in a now layout. So we have this white frame with blocks for our dashboard, whatever page do you want to build. They all are within this auto layout and all with the fill container. So what I have to do now is put the entire page in an auto layout, Shift A, and then put this, the content to fill container instead of fixed. Let me play the prototype. As you can see, while the menu expands, it actually pushes the entire content to accommodate the new version of the menu that is expanded. When mouse leaves, it goes back to the default state. If you don't want this to happen, if you want the menu to actually go over the, the content and overlay it, remove the auto layout and set this to back. And now when you try to play the prototype, you see that the menu goes above the content. So whenever you have this issue with the interaction being triggered before you want it because the frame is too short, you just have to use this setting one interaction to mouse enter and the other one to mouse leave and that will solve the problem. So that's it for this Figma quick tip. I really hope you like it and it helps you with your future designs. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, share with your designer folks and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and bye bye.